Hello, everybody. Um. Oh, my mic's off in game. Uh, I should turn that on because it looks weird. Okay. Um, the mic's on. Yes, sir. Okay. Hello, everybody. Today we're going to be doing a solo Crimson Cauldron uh, tutorial. Many other uh, rap tubers have done this. <coughs> Both I. Uh, um. Uh, now my friends are going on online. Okay, great. No. I, I have to message him. Skip to... Um, we'll just edit the video and show you what time you're supposed to skip to. Okay. Um, I'm doing... So low. Okay. Don't even mind what I sent him earlier before this message. If you even saw the messages... <laughs> I'm rude to my friends in a joking way. Anyways, anyways. Uh, oh my God. Yeah, we're going to be doing a solo tutorial. And uh, yeah, just follow what I do. If you have another uh, way that's like in a part or a certain area that's easier to you, by all means do that. But if you want, I will be doing time steps time stamps below so you can see what i would do on the part that you're struggling on all right well i don't know i will be online for an hour oh my god okay whatever um and uh, yeah if you have a weapon you're more used to by all means use that but uh without with that out of the way let's start if you want you can Glitch in a weapon like this. This isn't really a weapon, but might as well just do it. Nice. Okay, moving on to here, the first part. What you want to do for the first part is actually really simple. You want to get these, two of them. Uh, the first part's really easy, and it's just way more safer to go with like a weapon that has spread and is easy to aim with so uh, yeah make sure to get pods because we want s tier we want s tier all right kill those guys i recommend getting uh things such as the cannon guys first because those are real annoying also, there's like a 50-50 chance you'll have uh, flyers on this side, so just keep in mind for that. Here's an extra tip. If you want, you can just restart the entire game until you find a round that doesn't have um, the flyers. It's way more simpler without them. Alright, once you kill these guys, it's, it's really easy. No, really, not much of an explanation to go through. Oh, crap, okay. okay. Okay, cool. He likes to fall down there because he's a jerk. But uh, you don't have to worry about him. The cannon got. Oh wow. You don't have to worry about him because like he'll just be stuck in the corner or something. Once you're kill done killing these guys, you could just strafe along. You could avoid his bullets by strafing, and you could finish him off, and we're done. Do not throw the wands though. There is a wave still here. Kill these guys. Nice and simple. If you're having trouble or you're like in a bad situation, just run all the way back to the start so you have a head start of, of like getting prepared kill these guys and now it's up to you but i feel like the crossbow in this quest is the best especially with the potion it can one shot practically any enemy that isn't an elite but it is really good for elites because a crossbow does have a very fast uh, reload if you're good with it and its accuracy is way more better 
than a bow because many people aren't as good as bows and like some people oh Thaya. so yeah if you're good with the bow and you're confident enough take that otherwise if you're not i recommend the crossbow make sure you have a potion on your back and a potion in your hand run all the way back here maybe break these might as well your main focus is these guys kill them since you use a potion you can just easily snipe them there we go I recommend getting the elite flyers first. Who is left? Oh, oh, there you are, rascal. All right, as I was saying, I recommend getting the um, elite flyers first because those guys are really hard to strafe. Sure, you can duck, but then again, you're also trying to strafe the normal flyers and uh, can get you into some tough situations. All right, moving up here. Bring a potion with you, you're gonna need that. Move to like the corner here, and uh, once a goblin gets near, snipe that. There's like some sort of chance that'll activate the wave and they'll try killing you. But in most cases, it, that doesn't happen. So you could just go up here, they won't even see you, and you could shoot that. And now you'll have the elite uh, ground guys spawn in. Drink the uh, double damage potion that you had earlier and kill them. Simple. You'll have another one here because there are going to be more waves. Alright. Man, I can't wait to do Jumbotron. I'm like way better than that than I am in this quest. Believe it or not, this is like, if not the hardest quest for me. Crescendo isn't that hard for me. I mean, I got to the freaking uh, gallery on iPad without dying a single time. I mean, if that's not decent for a quest that's supposedly one hour long, then I don't know what it is. All right, want to kill all the ground goblins, normal goblins. You'll have flyers come from both sides here and back there. These guys are easy to kill. Two shots, simple. Then, once you're done killing this wave, you can move up here. Kill the, not kill, break these guys. Do not move up, because as you can see, that back guy will spawn. Drink the potion you have, snipe him. You can't get you from here. He's really annoying, so it's best to just take him out first. Once you're done that, go up here, activate the wave. Oh, and the uh, crap, I fell. Do not do what I did. Don't do what I did. You're supposed to just jump back here. Kill all the goblins, let them come to you. Whew. All right. Once you kill these guys, you'll have a wave spawn behind you. This wave kills a lot of people because they don't even know that the goblins are behind them. You can easily run from the goblins and get back here. You know, just kill these guys. There we go. Now, what you want to do is hopefully you will have a potion on your back because you're going to need that. This is where things get hard because I'm sure... Not 100% sure, but the flyers that spawn over here do not follow you if you were to run back. At least that's what I think. Because of the stairs, I'm pretty sure. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty close space and uh, striping's really hard because there will be elite flyers. What I like to do, go up this log and stay here. If it gets too hard, run up there. Get your po Do not get your potion out yet. Get it out once the elite flyers come. So just like strafe and shoot it's easy make sure to be aware of the uh, flyers over there many people don't see the bullets because of this vein thingy i don't even know what they call it this tree that blocks the view 
once you're done, not, once you're done killing that, the, fly, the elite guys do not spawn yet, so you can just stay here, stay put, strafe and shoot, and then once you once you kill, I think about like four of them. I don't know. I think the elite start to spawn. Yeah. All right. This is where you get the potion now. Drink it. Strafe, tide, duck maybe. So it's like harder for them to get you. Oh God. That's that's not good. That's not good. All right. Try shooting them. Try killing at least some before the potion runs out. There, you're done. Oh, why'd that take eight minutes? Oh well, we're gonna be slow because this is a tutorial. All right, moving on to the campsite, if not one of the easiest parts, because there's a really easy way to just make it so none of the goblin guys can get you. And that way, is hopefully you're good at aiming because you want to get this barrel over here that specific barrel if you try getting any other barrel it will destroy all the other barrels you don't want that to happen because the other barrels do come in handy when you need them all right i failed all right all right it takes a couple tries hopefully you could at least kill some with the barrel once you're done that kill the goblins the, ca the cannon guy will fall back it's all right though you can easily take care of him anyways down to one shot and you're done Jump all the way up here, grab any uh, like potions before the wave starts. You gotta be quick though, cause like, you wanna do this before the wave starts. <laughs> go, go, go. All right, you have these guys. Don't worry though, they can't get you. What you wanna worry about is the cannon guys. The cannon guys are real annoying and there will be some, there will be some, can I, can I talk? There will be some, there will be some that spawn um, right next to the cross beams, and they will be able to get you, so you're gonna have to be careful for that. So for some reason, the explosive thing did not kill. Oh my god. Oh well, we could just like... Your main focus is these guys. Kill them so you don't have to worry about them. All right, you're done that. I'm, just, I'm gonna turn the volume and sound effects down a bit. All right. What you wanna do next? Just kill these guys, yeah. Simple, simple. They like to hide. It's quite annoying. But once you get a shot on them, they will be stunned and you do get time to kill them. All right. Here's a mistake many people do. These trees are annoying. Oh crap, I fell. <laughs> Don't do that. These trees are annoying. They do block your view, so just be careful about that. Don't forget to like always look around your surroundings, otherwise you might get shot in the back of your head. But don't worry, I'm sure there is no flyer um goblins that do spawn behind you, so you're all right. What I like to do is like when I when this thing shows up and blocks my view, it's simple. All you gotta do is like crouch. All right, this guy wants to be annoying. You're you're ruining my you're ruining my tutorial. Okay, okay. Once you're done killing those guys, you will have uh, these guys. Don't worry about them. You can easily kill. You wanna worry about this guy because slowly and surely he'll get to you. Snap him down. And then kill these guys underneath you. Okay. You're done. Now you have elite goblins that spawn back. You can just kill them. Though it is annoying and does take some time because they have way more health. And sometimes the cross beams like to catch your arrows okay come on man Shh. accept your fate Woo! all right there we go once we're done that i am pretty sure this is the wave where the cannon guy spawns yep you want to kill that guy he's really annoying and he's a bum there will be other cannon guys that spawn around the map like this guy that guy you want to drink your potion for these guys 
there we go. And there we go. And now we can just finish off these guys, which is the last wave, I'm pretty sure. And we are done. That wasn't too hard. Mostly because we didn't cheat. But. Many people do this trick. It's really, it's really good. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on to Deep Forest. Not too hard of a part. I think. <laughs> All right, so this is where these guys get introduced. Intr introduced. The witches are really annoying because unlike other, actually no, these guys are really easy to kill because unlike flyers, you can't like block their hits. All right, once you kill those two, which is you'll have these guys spawn. You can use a sword or whatever. There's d two different spawns. Either you'll have two witches be on the front, two witches behind you, or you'll have um, one on each side. This is probably the worst spawn of them all, because like, you have to worry about two sides and that's not fun because you might die. All right, once you're done that, break the pots. Pots are annoying. Nobody likes pots, smelly pots. All right, move up here. Hopefully, if you don't have a potion, that's all right. It does quicken things up. I'm just gonna drink it. Since these guys don't see us, we can just kill them and we're done. Moving up, you'll have these uh, pike goblins. Try uh, killing as much as you can. There are only three. They they are pretty fast, so just watch out for them. Once you're done killing those guys, you will have these guys spawn. Once you like walk down the stairs. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Always run back. Well, be really careful. Once you're done killing these guys, you'll have pike goblins back up here. Really easy to kill. Boom. All right, once you're done that, it's time for you to jump down. Once you uh, cross over here, I think, you'll have the, fly yeah, the flyers. You can either have a giant group here or you can have the giant group there. <sighs> okay, once you kill like some of them, you will have the goblin spawn. This is your cue to run all the way back up because once you're done killing the goblins and everything, you will have elite goblins and uh, let's just say it's really hard to run away from them when you're walking upstairs. For some reason, they're really fast. And if you don't have a potion, then chances are you're screwed. Alright, this is our cue to just kill them. We have more time. Alright, I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's two. I was, I was confused on why. His other friend wasn't here. Alright, once you kill the two goblins, you'll have witches spawn. Really easy. Get a sword here. Here's a tip. Do not, uh... Okay. Do not, uh, hit the purple orbs with the sword in front of you because sometimes the game does want to be annoying and glitch and it will sometimes like go through your sword and kill you. Instead, hit it from the side so you don't have to worry about it killing you by accident. All right, I just realized we never even used our potion, so that's good. It just goes to show how good the crossbow can really be. There's a 50-50 chance that there will be a barrel knight spawning here though mostly i never see it what you want to do for yeah whatever i just did do that so the cannon guy up there dies once you're done killing that guy the wave should have spawned i don't know why it didn't but uh come on okay now the wave spawned Usually the wave spawns. I don't know why I didn't this time. Hopefully you had a, a potion behind your back because these guys will come and they are annoying. Really annoying. Potions are really one thing you really need when it comes to the crossbow because it just makes things so much more easier. It's like double shotting except for people who suck at the game. Me. Alright. 
once you're done that, grab every single potion ever known to mankind and bring it up here. And, and while you're at it, why does it break these guys as well? Once you're done that, you can just move up here. Only bring one potion with you. You don't. Okay. This game wants to be annoying. Alright, so. You'll have a bunch of guys here. If you didn't know, once you drink one of these, you can shoot a barrel knight anywhere on its body and it'll still take damage. And it will, like, freeze there. So, like, go for the barrel knight first. And then kill the entire wave. If they do start getting close to you, you can run all the way back and just. Oh, that's that's a burp. That's a burp. Really, uh, not expecting that. Okay, well, um, you could just go back up here and you'll be fine. Once you're done killing those guys, you can move to activate the wave. You must move here, and then you can hear the goblins just spawn one by one. You can shoot them. Once you're, once you're done killing those goblins, I think you'll still, I think there's still more. All right, once you're done killing those goblins, quickly rush up here because goblin, an, uh, elite goblins will, I'm tired of saying elite, oh my God. Elite goblins will spawn up here once you kill these guys. So it's best to just stay up here. Yep, and it's right there. No, not there. Huh. I'm pretty sure they do spawn there. Okay. If you want oh, okay. They're there. But they do have a chance of spawning back here. Just don't take the chance. Just run back here. It's way more safer and you don't have to worry about being backstabbed from the way back there. Uh, once you're done killing those goblins, you will have these guys drink a potion and uh, kill them. Last enemy. And you're done. If you want, you can move back here to get potions. You don't really have to because now we're moving on to the bog. And there is a crate filled with uh, those potion things. So you don't really have to worry. Moving on to here. <sighs> you have these guys. Um, I like to just shoot them from back here. Make them fall into the bog. If they somehow just don't die from the bog or like fall onto uh, over there on the pads and stuff, kill them. Okay, make them fall. You can also do the same with the goblins if your aim is really cool, like mine. Yeah, just snipe those guys. You will have cannon guys, so I advise not going onto the pad because I've died during a solo run because of that silly mistake. But once you're done killing the goblins that spawn there, put a potion on your back. And, uh, yeah. You can use a potion if you want. I'm just gonna do it, because there is a bunch of potions there anyways. There's a lot of potions in this quest. Oh my god, my aim. Yep, okay. Yeah, and once you're done killing those guys, move up here if you need potions. And I'll break these things as well. Free money. Who just doesn't love it? Alright, once you've done that. Get the potion. And once you move up here, you'll have flyers. <laughs> Alright. Hopefully, if you didn't, it's alright. Kill all the flyers before you kill the witches, because then once you kill that one witch, you'll have more witches spawn, and that'll be annoying. Boom. Boom. Okay, this game wants to be annoying, alright. Fine with me. Alright. Now that you've done that, don't even try using these things. They, they're literally the top number one reason people die. You can just climb up this rock and skip that entire thing entirely and uh, my favorite part because bots i love bots meow i know i said hate i hate pots that was in like a 
different way. I meant like I hate pots. You want to break them? I don't know what I'm, where I'm going with this. Break the. Okay. Once you're done that, you will need to use these because otherwise you you will die. Nobody wants to die like an idiot. Okay. Go over here and quickly run away because the cannon guy will try and get you. But now that you're back here, the cannon guy can't get you. Aim for the flyers first. Boom. And now you can just snipe the uh, cannon goblin. Boom, you're done. Um, You're going to need a potion right now. Because this is where things get a little bit funky. Grab your potion out. Move up here. Instantly drink it. Because you will have these guys spawn. You don't want to get backstabbed. You want to kill these guys as fast as you can. Oh my god. Yeah, you want to be careful. You don't want to die by witches because um, because you're stupid. And uh -huh, you're stupid among us. I don't even know what I'm saying. But once you're done killing the goblins back there, uh, quickly run all the way back here. Because the goblins will, won't be able to get you. You can just snipe the flyers. It's really easy. Really simple, really safe, and really efficient. There are some flyers that are really far away. Hopefully you could try killing them. Once you kill some of the flyers, this guy spawns. Kill him. He's annoying. Uh, don't worry about the ground guys yet. You just focus on the flyers. And uh, yeah, as you can see, they get stuck over there. Honestly, I wish they just killed themselves because, like, honestly, that sounds really uh anticlimactic. I don't know. All right, once you've done that, <laughs> ah, we don't have a potion. That's that's not good. That's not good because the bog is way more easier when you have potions. Okay, it's all right. You can still kill the bog. It's no biggie. You have to move up here for the uh, witches, and it's really annoying, but it's all right. Once you kill these two, or I think only one of them, you will have a, an elite flyer and a bunch of more witches. <clears throat> yep. Okay. I stay up here for this part, cause like, I have a shield here and I can see things through it. Oh my God, that's scary really scary oh my god uh, okay oh okay try like throwing them into the bog aim for these guys the, the witches aren't really much of a problem all right once you're done killing elite flyers uh, uh, hey social distancing yeah just finish off the witches uh, okay if that's how you want to do this game i'm fine dude i look so cool all right Make sure to not hit the orb like this. That's bad. You could risk your entire solo run because you're stupid. All right, you're definitely done and we don't have a mini boss incoming. All right, we have a mini boss incoming. It's not too hard. It really isn't. It's, it's just it's too easy. All right, once you go onto the pad, it will activate the boss. All right, you have that vacuum or vacuum sound. I, it's way better to do the boss if you have like um, potions, cause without potions, it's way more harder to kill the boss. All right, try shooting these guys off, cause then it's way more easier to strafe with the testicles. That sounds really wrong. But it's all right. Kill, then finish this guy off. All right. They will respawn, so make sure of that. Um. All right, you're done. Whew. It's a real exercise. All you gotta do is strafe. Simple. And you're done the bog. Great job, superstar. Moving on to the mines. The mines is not really that hard. It's honestly really easy. 
there are goblins back here. So just like try activating the wave by shooting. Yep. There you go. Keep in mind there is pipes. Be careful. These guys are honestly the reason solo runs on this quest are impossible. Well, not impossible, but really hard. You can just go around here. And, uh, yeah. You will have these guys really annoying because they do spray. Oh, watch out. Kill the one. Oh, God. Yeah. Just keep strafing. Dodge. Hide behind this wall. Makes things easier. And you hide and stuff. All right. Many people don't know this, but you can just shoot that and it kills all the flyers here. Barrels, barrels. We can't thank you enough. All right, you'll have a potions here. Put one on your back, put one in your hand. All right, so there's some goblins here. You have to activate the wave yourself. So just drink the potion. Commit a massacre, it's all right. <laughs> All right, once you're done killing the easy four goblins, there's an extra potion here and a potion here if you do need it. Drink your extra potion. Kill these pike goblins that spawn once you uh, reach the end of the staircase. As you can see, they're really fast downstairs, which is really annoying. Remember, potions and barrel knights Make this entire quest so easy. All right. Once you're done killing some of the goblins, just relax. Jump up, grab this guy, go up the ladder, and drink the potion. There you go. Once you're done killing both barrel knights and all the goblins, you will have a bunch of goblins spawn back here. Many, there are some that spawn behind you. That's why I advise going up here once you kill the barrel knights and stuff because you will die because you will get shot behind. I don't know, does that even rhyme? I don't even know. Does did that kill him? Please die. Just die. Die! I will fight for Pakistan. Okay, so cannon. That's something you don't see every day. All right, once you're done killing the goblin cannon and I guess the pike goblin, that guy doesn't really come unless you move all the way back here, which that's what we're gonna do now. Move all the way back here and stay here. All right, this part is really hard. Elite goblins, and crossbows, really hard. But once you learn the gist of reloading fast with the crossbow, they're not too scary. What makes an elite goblin scary is their fat, stupid red eyes, okay? They be looking like mosquitoes at 3 a.m. Which, trust me, terrifying. All right, strafe because the flyers are really easy to strafe through. Kill that guy. No. Do I really have to message another friend? This is a solo tutorial. Learn what solo means. All right, so I don't know where this guy is, but he's somewhere, definitely somewhere. I have no idea where, but he's somewhere. Okay. Oh, there you are. Of course you want to be annoying. I don't advise moving up here. Just wait for them to come to you. It's way more easier. Don't risk your solo run because these stupid flyer guys are fat and lazy. All right, try shooting him from here. The stage you wanna really worry about is deep mines. That part, whoo, annoying. If you don't have a um, potion, it's all right. You can just go behind the guys and start shooting them. But once you're done that, you have finished the what? Never mind. You still have these guys. <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure once you kill them, nope, not even. 
Yeah, okay. There are a lot of enemies on this stage, and including the next stage, so just follow what I do, and you'll be fine. Steam pipe over here. Watch out, you don't want to die. Boom. I recommend going this way, because this way is just way harder. Don't go. want to go immediately once it ends. Okay. Alright, try aiming for the barrel that's over there because it does kill the entire wave if somehow you missed. Try shooting it again before any other enemies start going towards you. If that doesn't work, you're probably screwed, but don't give up. Try, like, backing up. Remember, there are steam pipes, so it will be really hard. Alright, you have steam pipe over here. Uh, and steam pipe over here. Alright, break those pots. Move up onto this barrel because, like, practically no enemy can get you up here. I wouldn't count on it with the barrel knights, though. Barrel knights are a whole new level of built different. Alright, just shoot this guy. Try not to activate this guy. He's really annoying when you do. Because then you have two barrel knights. Two barrel knights and one crossbow. Whew! Not friendly. Just move back kill him all right once you're done that you have these guys spawn it's really not hard don't use the barrels though do not use the barrels we need those later on for many other things that are way important to this one simple stage since you'll be on here and bet no a goblin can get you up here just try killing them quickly because i've had attempts where they somehow climb up on each other and uh yeah, it's really annoying. Alright, once you're done killing all those goblins, you have this guy back here. Shoot him. You know, he's just doing his work. He has a tough day, and you're ready to kill him and end his suffering. I just turned this entire quest into, like, full-on sad Roblox story. <laughs> Alright, kill this guy. He's annoying. Everybody at work, everybody at work hates him. Alright. That's when you want to use a barrel, when the flyers start to spawn in. I don't know why I used it too earlier, early. Um, I'd rather have you use it with the elite goblin. <laughs> elite goblins, elite flyers, because it's... Elite go flyers are way more harder, harder to kill. Alright, use the barrel to kick, kill that barrel knight. And kill the uh, elite goblin. And you're on your way. I recommend staying up here. You want to focus on this guy. Other guys are just easy to kill. Use the two barrel things. Alright, once you've done that, you should have killed at least some of the guys. Kill these guys. Think of it as like balloon tower defense. It's like a whole wave of like goblins that you must kill. Alright. All right, kill that goblin and you're fine. All you want to do is snipe this guy, these guys up here. And then you are done the first wave. Once you want to, okay. You're done the first, w you're done the first wave once you uh, kill that, oh, everybody here. What you, what you want to do is jump from there to here, to here, jump onto this, jump back up here. It's not really that complicated. You just do parkour, run all the way back to your starting area. You do have three pike goblins that spawn on this stage, so watch out. Once you kill two of the pike goblins, you do have these flyers that spawn in. You want to worry about the elite ones. Elite ones are way more scarier than normal ones. Oh, watch out. You do have pike goblins behind you and other goblins. So just watch out for those guys. Here's another tip. You can just hop up here and you'll be completely fine. All right. Kill these goblins. I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of goblins underneath me. 
they will somehow appear here, so you can just kill them, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, shoot them down, shoot them down, shoot them down, and you're done. No, you're not. There's way more. <sighs> Alright, shoot that guy, shoot that guy. Alright, once these guys come in, let's try shooting them. Shoot, shoot the barrel. Oh god, good. Once you shoot the barrel, you don't have to worry about them anymore. Then you just have these two annoying elite gob elite flyers that you have to kill. And then once you kill one of the elite flyers, you have elite goblins. Which, fun fact, not a fun thing to kill when you don't have potions. So, uh... Be careful, kill as much as you can before they get underneath you. Try aiming down. <laughs> okay, once you're done killing the goblins down there, double check to make sure there's none underneath you. Then all you have is this final wave of elite flyers before you move on to the next and final stage before the boss fight. And you're done! Woohoo! Great job! If you made it this far, give yourself a pat on the shoulder because this is, if not one of the hardest stages. The boss fight's really easy. Trust me, there's a way to like completely glitch it. Not really glitch it, but make it so that none of the enemies underneath can, like, get you. It's like the whole Jumbotron thing where you go into the top. Alright. Moving on to the bell tower. I have my ways for this. So just follow what I do. You got the bop music. You got the bop everything. Aim for this thing over here. Oh, crap. That didn't even do anything. Go for the elites first. Those are annoying. Alright, once you're done killing those goblins, run. All the way up. <clears throat> Maybe break a pot or two, but otherwise you're fine. You will have elite goblin spawn here, so just use a barrel. If you can, if not, just kill them quickly before they get to you. Alright, and once you've done that, you have these guys spawning. Alright, if you can, quickly climb up here, okay? If you can't do that, just try strafing all the bullets that they shoot at you from the bottom, alright? Everything will be fine. I like to stay up here because no enemies can get me up here. No ground enemy, no fly enemy. You can just peek out here. And shoot this guy. If your flash is invited, no. Alright. Peek out, shoot. It can get really hard. If you have another way that's way easier for you on the stage that you would recommend, by all means, as I told you at the start, do that. Because this stage can, this thing, this way of doing the solo run is way more harder than what I do. Because like, if you mess it up the first time, there's no way you're gonna get back up. Here's another strategy you can do. Once you, if you're like having trouble, you can just jump all the way to the bottom and then you can shoot any other enemy on your tail. Alright, once you're done killing all the enemies down here, climb up here. And break these two pots because you want your extra 200, don't you? Alright, moving on to the boss fight. We're doing pretty good, this is good. <coughs> boss fight's really simple. What you want to do for the boss fight, grab a sword of course. Activate boss fight. Climb all the way up here. Um, and go onto the curtain, if you can, hopefully, 
do it really quick. Don't die. And uh, you're on your way. No enemy can get you up here. The only enemies that can try and get you are the witch and normal flyers. So just kill those with your crossbow. And uh, yeah, you will be fine. <laughs> or a bow. Any range weapon will work. Even a potion, if, if you're good at throwing. All right, once you uh, hit it three times with the orb, try run, run up onto here. No, no, don't run up onto there. Um, what you wanna do is, oh, okay. Um, I think there's a glitch. Um, okay, well, once you kill that goblin all the way back there, you're on your way, it's pretty easy. Don't worry about any other goblin or any like Ken guys because they can't get you and you're fine. All right, once you hit it four times, I'm pretty sure this is where the flyers spawn. So shoot the flyers, you're fine. D ignore all the ground, bo ground bots, I play too much Jumbotron. Maybe that's why I'm too good at it. Ah, I'm so good at quests. All right, shoot the fly. Oh my God. This guy wants to be annoying. Just accept your fate. You're not going to be able to kill me. All right. If that doesn't work, just kill one of the uh, goblins down here. And the w next wave, I'm pretty sure, will start. No, I think you have to kill three flyers. All right, yeah. Once you kill the three, or the, the flyers, all the flyers, you will have these two witches. Work, kill those first, because you don't want to have a bunch of orbs just flying around you, waiting to be kicked. Unless you're Paddleball Pro, like me. <sighs> All right, I know I said not to like hit the orb in front of you, but if I were to go to my side, it would hit the wall. And that's how you beat the boss. It's really simple, it takes like one minute. And there you go, S tier, simple, wimple, jimple. Alrighty. Good job, my friend, and you have achieved your S-tier item. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what it's all about. Please subscribe. Um, I have COVID. Okay, subscribe.